Welcome to the Global Symposium for Regulators 2019 here in Port Vila in Vanuatu, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio uh, by Umu Toa Awelua Fonote, who is the regulator for Samoa. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Now, I'd like to start off uh, by talking a little bit about this year's theme, which is inclusive connectivity, the future of regulation. How do we achieve inclusive connectivity? Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. Um, look, there is so many ways that we can work on um, in order for us to achieve connectivity in all levels of um, the population, um, in all levels of government and, and all sort of things. But I think collaboration from um, as far as um, service providers and consumers, regulators and service providers, um, sectoral regulators, and then the, you know, global at the global level. I think, to me, as a regulator, that's how I look at my work. That's how I do my work: is collaborate with other people in order for me to to get what is needed, and that is for everyone to get connected. And in order to do that collaboration, we need to work together as um, developing countries, share um, information, share knowledge and resources with the developed countries. And from the regulator's point of view, we've, that's, that's what we've been doing. Try to get the, the knowledge that we have in order for us to regulate the sector and understand what the service providers as well um, can do because we can't just focus on the consumers. We also have to make sure that the companies, service providers are sustained in order for this connectivity thing to work. And not only that, um, it's, it's very important that um, um, in all levels, we try to build the capacity of all the people involved in this process. Um, okay, consumers for example, we need to tell them, make them aware that they have obligations on using the regulated services. Because if they don't, then it will pile up as issues, as challenges for us. And I think that is very important. That's one thing for me that's very important is make people understand, make, be, make people aware of their obligations, not only for consumers, but for service providers as well. So, you know, that's, that's how I approach this issue. That's how, in my line of work, there was, there's a lot of improvement now from what Samoa has 10, 10, 5 years ago because of that approach. We get people in, we get everyone to work together so that everyone get connected. What are the particular challenges facing you in Samoa? Oh, the legislations, I have to say. Um, we still implementing laws that has been there for like 10 years ago that needs to be um, changed because of the change in technology every now and then. But the problem is that process is a lengthy one because you have to have to consult with a lot of people. And in fact, in Samoa now, we're starting that process. We've already started that process, but I see it as a very lengthy process. And that's a major, major challenge that we have. That is basically the major challenge that we have. And the lack of resources. That's the other thing. Um, in working towards this, we're working with the Office of the Attorney General. We're working with the law reform um, sector to have a collective understanding of what we're supposed to be putting the new legislation. And we have that problem of lack of resources um, we, because we don't have experts of particular in telecommunication and broadcasting, electricity, postal, things like that. Um, we don't have that scope of people that we need to do this work. That's a major challenge for us. Now, you've obviously taken the time to be here at uh, GSR. I just wanted to find out what's the, the benefit of attending events such as this and, and also being involved with ITU? Oh, a lot of benefits. That's why I've, I've, been, um, I've been trying to get the chance. In fact, this is my very first GSR. Um, in the other GSR, we knew about it, but we couldn't go because we can't afford to go. Uh, but since it's here in the region, we have to make every effort to come here. In fact, there's four of us from our office. 
but it's it's I see it as an opportunity for us to grab the 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 mind of the experts of of people that have been doing this job for for like twenty years. If you if you um, we're talking about uh, the t uh, Secretary General of ITU and you know and Mario and all those people, Doreen. These are the people that have been doing this for the last decade, and now it's it's our opportunity to pick up their minds and see what they have been doing and follow suit because I, I've seen a lot of positive in the um, ITU and what they try to do, even with APT. Uh, there's a lot of uh, coordination and collaboration between this organization, which is for us, we have to take advantage of, of the opportunity. And to be here is, is, is a fantastic opportunity for us. Matua Awelua Fonotti, well, thank you very much for joining us in the studio. And we hopefully, we'll catch up with you again at the next year, sir. Thank you, thank you very much, and thank you for having me here. Thank you.